Hi there, homespun friends. Here I am at Aldi. It is the day before the grand reopening, but guess what? They are already open. I understand they opened last week in what is called a soft opening. That is where they just kind of pass um, the information by word of mouth and people kind of trickle in and that kind of helps absorb some of the heavy traffic they'll face on the reopening day. So I'm headed in. I wanted to show you I've got this. I hope they'll let me use it. It says March 9th through 14th. $5 off a $30 minimum purchase. So I'm going to check and see if they'll let me use it today. Wow. So much bigger looking. As you can see, they've opened up the ceiling and they've really blocked out all of the aisles. Here they've opened up the front a great bit. It's really looking nice. Really looking nice. Let's see what they've got for us. So here we go, friends. Here's what it is looking like now. As you can see, if you've ever been in an Aldi, this is much more streamlined than what we had before. Looking a lot less like a warehouse, actually. Now, there are some vacant places I see but the grand opening is not until tomorrow and I know they get trucks daily, so. They now have their pastries and breads along this aisle right here, all together instead of the middle like they used to. A lot of new signage going on here. And just a little close up on some of these prices got the brown and serve rolls for 99 cents and this right here is split top wheat and it has been marked down to 49 cents so the white sandwich bread right here this has been marked to 45 cents 45 cents a loaf so it looks like I'll be I'll be stocking up a little bit and putting some bread in my freezer now. This top bin is empty, but they do have more underneath. Here we go, guys. Strawberries, only $1.29. We have other berries. The blackberries are only $1.49. Sorry, you can't take any pictures. Hi there, friends. Okay, I'm home with my haul. The good news is I got to film the first aisle of the store, but the bad news is <laughs> that they came and stopped me. They told me that I was not allowed to film and I was not allowed to take any pictures at all. And um, they preferred people not to have their phones out because they didn't want any pictures. And you know, that really bugs me. I think it was, I don't know how long ago it was that I went into Aldi and tried to take my phone and they made me stop back then and I just thought it was that particular manager because I've seen other people go into grocery stores and it not be a problem but apparently with Aldi it's a problem and then I've heard other people say that other stores also have um, told them that they can't film in the store. I, I don't understand why that is because all you're doing is showing them the layout of the store which is beautiful. You're showing people really good deals. I told her, I said, I'm filming this to put on YouTube just so that I can brag on my local store and I can show people what a new Aldi looks like because some of these people don't have an Aldi in their state or in their country and they would really like to see it. And she said, well, I'm sorry, you cannot have that camera out and you cannot have your phone out. So there I was, I was stuck, but I got a little bit of, you, of it for you to see. And um, hopefully you're able to get a little you know a little bit of footage the other bad news is that they would not let me use my coupon as I said they sent this out for when the store reopened they sent it in the mail five dollars off of thirty dollar minimum purchase but it does have the dates on there of um, March 9th to 14th and then today in our newspaper we had this one it's um, five off 35 and so probably what I will try to do is I will try to go back to Aldi a couple more times within this time window and just spend the minimum that's required. So here I'll try to find something you know that I really need that I can stock up on for $30 because it's too good of a coupon to let it pass and Aldi does not usually do coupons of any kind. So 
I could get $30 worth of items for $25 here and then $35 here for $30, so it would be worth it to probably go back. And today I spent $70.28 and I will show you what I got. Now I did a bread stock up and one of the reasons I did this is because as I showed you, these loaves of bread were $0.45 cents. and during the six weeks to seven weeks that Aldi was closed, I used every loaf of bread that I had in the freezer stored up. And what I do is when it goes on a sale, and once in a while they'll mark it down like this, um, I just stock up on it and I put it in the freezer. And sometimes, you know, if the kids are coming home from church or something, my children, my grown children, and they're like, oh, mom, you know, I don't have bread tomorrow for sandwiches, for school lunches. I'm like, just swing by and get some out of the freezer. And so I like to keep a lot of loaves in here. And at 45 cents, you can't beat it. So I got a lot of those, but I've got to, I've got to show you this hilarious thing. This one got crushed a little bit in the process of bringing, bringing it in from out of the car. And look at that. It's just kind of a little bit twisted. But I'm trying to shake it free. I'm trying to, to get it to go back into its loaf shape. I don't, I don't think it's working. But it's maybe working a little. I don't know. But we'll still eat it. It'll be okay. It's just one loaf. But uh, also, the hot dog buns. Let's see how much these were. I can't recall my prices right now. The hamburger buns were 85 cents. And the hot dog buns were 49 cents. Okay, and then I've got these. I thought this looked really interesting and good. It's we love pomegranates. And so this is pomegranate seeds that are covered with dark chocolate. They were $2.99. And this was $1.99. This um, milk chocolate bar with almonds. And then I got these sweet onions. Let's see. I wanted to tell you guys the prices so that you can know how much they were, but they were not very much. I don't, I don't even see where they are now. Um, and then I got, of course, the bread. And then I got these little cheesecakes. They were $1.99. It's just two slices of it and the strawberry. They had turtle. And the turtle looked amazing. It had chocolate and nuts all over the top of it. But they also looked like the lids were falling off of them. And I, I just didn't want to purchase that. So, And then the eggs. I got two dozen eggs. And they were $0.79 cent each. Now, before they closed... For the remodel, they were 59 cents. But I have been seeing other people say that the egg prices are kind of, you know, working their way back up from their all-time low that we had earlier. So that might just be part of the issue. This seedless cucumber here, that I love these things. It was only 79 cents. Um, the romaine hearts were $1.99. I still wish I could find those onions, y'all. What in the world? I know that they're on this list. They're hiding out, and they do not want me to say, oh, there they are. They were $1.79. Those onions over there were $1.79. Okay. And then we had the um, sharp cheddar cheese. is $2.69, and I'm probably going to make some pimento cheese with this. The broccoli crowns were $1.29, and that's a really good deal. The spring mix was $1.99, and the yogurt, I have no idea. There it is, $3.49. That's what all of them were, I think, at the store. The Greek yogurt was that. And we will probably use this in smoothies. We gave our smoothie maker to our daughter. And so now we are just using a handheld mixer, like a little hand blender, a stick blender. And I don't like it as good. I, I really don't. So I'm thinking about buying me another one. Um, and Because we really, we really used to enjoy those. I got some paper plates here. The whipped topping was really cheap, too. I thought I would throw that in the freezer. It was 85 cents. This milk was $1.50, I think, and this was $1.49. I love, love, love their um, tissues. They are really good quality. And they were $0.91 cents today. Now, their toilet paper, I really like this, this Mega. It is my favorite. It is $6.99 to buy it, but you can compare it to the Charmin Mega. And it is um, really good, I think a really good price because... I can't remember if Charmin is normally $9.99 or $12.99. But as you know, I already have toilet paper. I <laughs> buy toilet paper just about every time I go. But when I see it there, I go ahead and get it because you never know. You know, if there's a month or two, maybe when something was to happen, if you have an unexpected expense, perhaps you have a car repair or a medical expense you didn't count on, then that month you don't have to buy any paper products. You've got plenty already stocked up. So that's the way I see it. So I went ahead and bought these. I did not buy paper towels because I have coupons out the wazoo right now for paper towels. And I like to go to CVS and get them because they'll have each week they have a different brand on sale. And they're usually a really good price. And if you combine them with a manufacturer's coupon plus one of their extra care bucks that you've gotten back, then you can get them for next to nothing. And that's what I'm planning on doing because I have some extra care bucks that I need to use. 
And then these apples right here are the Honeycrisp. They're my favorites, and they were $3.99. And then this, I love this plant. And it is so beautiful and green. And it's ivy, and it was $4.99 for this big plant. And what I'm hoping to do, friends, is you see this, um, this plant over here on this rocky horse? Let me see if I can figure out how to operate this thing. There we go. That plant right there, when we moved into this house, that plant took a beating, and it has never fully recovered. It just kind of limps over, and I'll water it, and it just doesn't really seem like it's growing very much. So what I thought about doing was removing anything in that that does not look like it's thriving, and maybe freshen up the dirt a little bit, and then insert something like this into it, and just kind of spruce it up a little bit, and see if that will help it to come back to life because in our previous house it was always beautiful and full and, and I think it's just the move even though it was two and a half years ago it was hard on it and it's just barely feels like to me it's just barely hanging on so anyway there is my haul for $70.28 and um, as you can see we are not going to subsist on bread this week that is not the deal this is going in the freezer for later and um, oh, did I show you my meats? I don't think I did. Um, I got two packs of this center cut bacon. I love their bacon better than any other bacon that I've tried. And we've been buying bacon from Walmart, and we've bought all the name brands. And I don't know one brand that I like better than this brand. And it was $3.49 for each of these. And this, I think it was $4.27. Let's see. Oh, $4.72. For this poor coin that's the mesquite barbecue that's all the meat that i bought like i said when i went in today i think there were lots and lots of people in the store and um so it, it was you know i was really surprised that there were that many people there and the aisles were full everyone was trying to take in all the changes there were a lot of changes so i thought i'm not going to do a whole lot of shopping per se today i'm just going to focus on the few things i really need to get i am going to restock the bread while it's 45 cents and then I might go back, if not tomorrow, maybe Friday or another day, and get a few more items um, that I saw in there that I really wanted to get, but my buggy was kind of full, and I just didn't want to fight the crowds. So that is my haul, friends. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get more of my Aldi on video for you, but um, you, if you are in line to get an upgrade or a renovation on your Aldi, it is going to be worth the wait. There is a ton of more items that they have put in that. I mean, I, I thought, how can they get more stock in this store? There's just no way. But they have. They really have. And um, they have a lot of the same good things, too. But they have a lot of new things. And I think we're all going to really like it. Thank you for spending time with me today, friends. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.